Hello everyone, thanks for joining. Today I want to talk about complexity of computing the anti ramsey numbers for PATS. A joint work with Said Ahundian Amiri, Alexandra Papa, Mohamed Rohani, Reza Sultani, and Hossein Bahidi. The anti ramsey numbers are a notion in graph theory introduced in 1975 by Erdős, Simonovitz, and Sass. For given graph g and h, the anti ramsey number of g and h is defined to be the maximum number k such that there exists an assignment of k colors to edges of g in which all copy of h in g has at least two edges with the same color. So we don't want to have any copy of h with distinct colors for all pair of edges. Let me define it in other words. We call the coloring rainbow if every pair of edges have distinct colors and by edge-free coloring, we mean a coloring without rainbow copy of edge. So we can define the anti ramsey number of G and edge by the maximum number of colors of edge-free coloring. In this paper, we consider paths as our graph edge, so we want to study the anti ramsey number of G and PK, which is the maximum number of colors of PK-free coloring. Okay, let's see an example. Consider this graph as our given graph uh, G. We have seven paths of length two, which are incident in a vertex we call center. We want to find uh, the anti ramsey number of this graph and P3. So we don't want to have a rainbow P3 in this coloring. So we want to find the maximum number of colors in which we don't have any uh, rainbow P3. Uh, you can see that this is a valid coloring with eight colors. We don't have any rainbow P3 here. Uh, now let's see how we obtain this coloring and why this is the maximum. If the anti ramsey number of G and P3 is greater or equal than eight, then we have two distinct colors in a branch. So we should be careful about uh, this path and edges incident with vertex. Uh, we don't, we cannot have uh, the new color for edges incident with vertex because otherwise we build a rainbow P3 like this. So we have two options for them, either color them with red or color them with green. If we color them with red, then we cannot have a new color for uh, this edge because otherwise we build a rainbow P3. Uh, so we should uh, again use a color red or green for these edges so we don't add any new color uh, in this way. But if we choose green for the color of this edge, then we can have the new color for this edge. So if we want to maximize number of colors, we should color all edges incident with center with green and have distinct colors for all uh, other edges in the graph. Like this. So we obtain this coloring and we can conclude that the anti ramsey number of G in P3 is eight because we can easily see that this is maximum number uh, because if we have nine colors, then we have four distinct colors in two branches. Each of them ha have uh, two distinct colors and we have a rainbow P3, which leads us, a uh, which leads us to a contradiction. So we prove that uh, the anti ramsey number of this graph and P3 is eight. And I hope that the definition of anti ramsey number of G and H is clear by now. Okay, let's see what are the previous works. Uh, as I mentioned, the anti ramsey number introduced in 1975 by Erdős, Simonovitz and Sass, they consider the anti ramsey number of complete graphs and cycles. Most of the works consider a complete graph as a host graph G. For example, we have some results about the complete graph and cliques or a complete graph and uh, trees. There is only one project in which they study the anti ramsey number of arbitrary graphs and star, and others consider again the complete graph as a host graph and matching or the complete graph and path or cycle. And in this paper, we study the anti ramsey number of arbitrary graphs and paths. Our results classify in four parts. We study the hardness of PK anti ramsey coloring. We have some results regarding inapproximability of P3 anti ramsey coloring. 
We also study the pre-coded version of the graph and we give an algorithm to compute the anti ramsey number for trees and PK. Due to the time limit, I will only explain the intuition behind the hardness of PK anti ramsey coloring and I explain our algorithm uh, that computes the anti ramsey number of trees and PK. So we want to prove that for any K, greater than two PK free coloring problem is NP hard. The main idea of the proof of this theorem is reduction from maximum independent set. Uh, we could not prove it for any K with exactly the same solution. So we introduced different gadgets for odd values of K or even values of K greater than four and for uh, K equal to four. Okay, let me start with odd value of K. Our goal is to prove that uh, finding the size of the maximum independent set in G is equivalent to finding the anti ramsey number of G prime and PK. So we want to use a reduction from maximum independent set problem, and we want to construct a new graph G prime from G, such that if we find uh, anti ramsey number of G prime, then we can understand the size of the maximum independent set in G. Okay, for each, vertex v in vg, we define pv in this way. Uh, we put two vertices sv and tv and add many paths of length k minus one between them. So we introduce this gadget for each vertex v and we add it to our graph g prime. And if we have edge uv in g, then we add these four edges in g prime. So we construct our graph G prime in this way. And we can see that there is a valid coloring in which we can color each of these paths of length K minus one with K minus two distinct colors. Uh, this is a coloring and it's valid because if you consider any PK coloring, it contains one of these two middle edges. So we color these paths of length K minus one uh, in a way that we have same color for these two middle edges. And since K minus one is e even, uh, we have these two middle edges. And then each path of length K contains one of these two, uh, um, both of these two edges, then uh, we don't have rainbow PK because we have at least two color for, uh, we have at least two edges with the same color. Okay, if we consider them each uh, vertex gadget independently, we can color them with many colors. We can color them with k minus two times the number of these paths. But uh, if they are connected, we don't have many options because if we uh, color the uh, color u in the same way, then we have a rainbow pk here. Okay. So this leads us to see that if the number of vertices with many colors in maximum PK free coloring is equal to the size of the maximum independent set. So we introduce a set X as a vertex V uh, such that PV has many colors in G prime. And we prove that the size of this set is equal to the size of our in the maximum independent set in G. So we can find the size of uh, the maximum independence of G using maximum PK uh, free coloring of G prime. Okay. Uh, for even value of K, uh, we cannot use this gadget because uh, since K is even, uh, K minus one is odd. And so we don't have two middle edges uh, such that we can color them with the same color. So this gadget doesn't work for even value, but uh, we have basically the same idea. We use a reduction from maximum independent set, but we build our graph G prime in different way. Consider this graph as our graph G, then for each vertex V in VG, if we show the degree of this vertex V by DV, we add DV paths of length two with the same vertex. So for example, here we have V1, then its degree is three. So we add three paths of length two with um, the same vertex V. And then for each edge 
uv in g we add many paths of length k minus four between um, the leaves of uh, this uh, gadget so we use separate leaf for each edge and add many paths of length k minus four between them and we can um, choose different uh, leaf because we have exactly um, dv uh, leaf, leaves in for each vertex gadget okay and then um, we chose the number of these paths such that in the optimum coloring they get different color so we have different colors in any optimum coloring for them so we color them with distinct colors uh, we color each of these paths of length k minus four with distinct colors and uh, we need to uh, handle pk free coloring using, using our vertex gadget now consider the vertex gadget we can uh, prove that this is the optimum coloring for this gadget because if we have one color more then we have two branches with four distinct colors then we can have a rainbow pk like this we have k minus four edges here two distinct colors here two distinct colors here so we have k distinct colors for this path so it's a rainbow pk so we proved that this gadget this structure coloring is optimum for vertex gadget but we cannot uh, color incident vertices with the same structure because if we color them in the same way we built another rainbow pk in this way we have two distinct color here k minus uh, four distinct color here and two distinct color here so we should have another structure then we use this coloring this coloring structure for um, the vertex gadget which has one color less than the other so in general we have two coloring structure for gadget of vertices uh, and it forces us to color independent set with the first um, coloring structure and others with another one and then we prove this formula i don't want to go uh, through it i just want you to see the relation between the size of the maximum independent set and the anti ramsey number of g prime and pk okay for p, uh, k equal to 4, this gadget doesn't work because we cannot add paths of length k minus 4 between them. We cannot add paths of length 0 between them. So we should be more careful, uh, but we can basically use the exact same idea. So for k equal to 4 and this uh, graph g, we construct our graph g prime in this way. We, we have the same uh, structure for um, our vertices we use the same gadget but we merge a vertex of path of each two incident vertices and then add many leaves uh, to the shared vertices so uh, and also we choose the number of uh, these leaves such that in optimum coloring in coloring with maximum numbers they get um, distinct um, colors and then with exactly the same details, we can prove that we have this, we should have this structure for uh, coloring our vertex edget, uh, gadgets. And then uh, we prove it basically with the same idea. Okay. In the last part of my talk, I want to explain the algorithm. Uh, we give an algorithm that computes the anti ramsey number of 3 and pk in linear time with respect to uh, the number of vertices. So we consider 3 as our host graph uh, g. We need to define a color connected notion. We call it a coloring color connected if for each color c used in our coloring, the graph containing edges color with C is connected. For instance, uh, this coloring is not color connected because if you consider red edges, they make two different components, connected components. But this coloring is color connected because if you consider any color, then they make a color, a connected component. 
now we have this lemma. We prove that for any maximum PK free coloring of T, we can find a color connected coloring with exactly the same number of colors. So we can give the algorithm right now. Um, we use dynamic programming and we cut, uh, compute the anti Ramsey number of T and PK from uh, bottom to the top. So consider this coloring until now. And then for each vertex, we consider the longest rainbow path in its subtree. Uh, so in this graph, we have two options for this path, uh, either this one or this one. There is no difference, so I choose this one. And also for each vertex, we consider the second longest rainbow path with the same color. Um, we cannot consider this path as the second longest path rainbow with the same color because we have the same color here. So we should consider this path as our second rainbow path with this same color. And we can also ignore all other edges because it's sufficient to handle these two paths for don't having rainbow PK. And the idea behind considering only two rainbow paths with this same color is that if we consider its parent and assign any color to it, it makes at least one of these two rainbow paths longer. I mean, if we use the same color to room one of them, then it makes the other one longer. So we can consider K2 states for each vertex and have the fixed length for the paths. So for each vertex V and the longest rainbow path uh, of length I and the second longest rainbow path of length J, we consider this triple. Vij, and we want to compute the maximum number of colors in this subgraph. Uh, we consider its children. Uh, one of them must build the longest rainbow path. Another one must build the second longest rainbow path. And the rest of them should not violate uh, above situation. So for example, in this graph, one of them build the longest rainbow path, the other uh, build the second uh, longest rainbow path and other are just, uh, I mean, should not violent above situation, the other situations. Okay, now consider the first situation, consider that it builds the longest path with length i, then we want to decide about the color of the bold edge. There are two ways to construct uh, the longest rainbow path with length i either longest rainbow path has length i minus one, like here, or the second longest rainbow path has length i, I minus one, which I will go through it in the next slide. Uh, so here we can assign a new color to this edge, okay, and have a rainbow path of length i here. In another case, uh, the second uh, longest rainbow path has length i minus one, so we want to build a pass, rainbow path of length i with this uh, path. So we should ruin the longest rainbow path. So we give it the same color as the last uh, color of um, the, the last edge of uh, the longest rainbow path, uh, like this. Then we prove that this is an optimum coloring. Uh, we have exactly the same idea for building the second longest path with length j. But for the third case, we have more complicated situation and we prove uh, by studying different cases, uh, which I don't want to explain it here. Uh, so we give an algorithm that computes the anti Ramsey number of trees and PK in times N times K squared. So I talk about hardness of PK anti Ramsey coloring. I explain the algorithm we give for computing the anti Ramsey number of T and PK. And thanks for your attention.